Welcome to my channel, Miss Bird. I'm Sarah. I like plants, but I rent. I like trailing, hanging plants, but I don't want to make too many holes in the walls in my house uh, so I can get that deposit back. So I'm going to show you a few of the ways that I've started hanging plants and a couple of the little hacks that I use and hopefully they'll be helpful for you guys as well. So idea number one is this coat and hat stand from Amazon and this is around seven or eight pounds and it's got eight hooks at the top and four just down here. I've just got a couple on there at the moment. Idea number two is a ladder. And this one I just got from Facebook Marketplace and it just leans against the wall here and it's got quite large steps so it can hold plant pots but if you get one of the uh, smaller ones and I'm sure there's some on Amazon that I can link to um, you could definitely hang plants from the ladder steps So I just put this curtain rod up on our bay window and as you can see we already have one but it's set back and we do use these curtains. I wanted to be able to hang my plants um, without disturbing the curtains and so again I've just got some command hooks and a cheap curtain pole from Home Bargains. And I've literally just put this up now, so I'll show you guys what it looks like with plants on. So here's how my curtain rod looks with my hanging plants. Um, sorry about the uh, light guys, but it's hard to uh, light it up because it's near the window. So yeah, curtain rod and command hooks. And these command hooks are rated at 1.3 kilos each which I'm not 100% sure what that is in pounds um, I'll put it on the screen now um, and just as a little test I uh, thoroughly watered my arrowhead and it's just in its nursery pot there we go. it's just in its nursery pot and then a decorative plastic pot and it was coming out 600 grams. All of them except the arrowhead are in their nursery pots so they won't weigh so much. But yeah, that's another way of hanging plants without drilling any holes. This is a tension rod and it works by creating tension between two surfaces and this one is a screw in one so I just screwed it until it fit um, between these two cupboards in my kitchen and just made sure it was as sturdy as possible. I don't usually keep plants on this one, uh, this is just for illustration purposes because this is the only area that I've really got in my house that will fit a tension rod. Uh, this is above the cooker so obviously I don't my plants above the cooker they won't do very well there um yeah so this is just to show you how else you could hang plants maybe if you've got a couple of walls the attention rod would go in between you could even do this in the shower I know that some people keep their plants in the shower so they can get some good steam This is just a wooden hook that I made uh, from some Ikea bed slats and some little screwing hooks um, but you can get these anywhere, they're really cheap as well. So I've just attached this to the wall with some really strong command strips 
um, and I've not had any problems with it yet and there's been some heavier plants on there as well and I also sometimes keep a basket of tea towels there as well. So this is just a bit of a bonus idea as I know not everyone is going to have this R code in their house but I thought I'd include it just in case you have something like this and you haven't thought about hanging plants to it and that's just up there with an S hook and I just tend to look around my house and think can I hang a plant off of that and will it survive there so that's what I've just done with this one. teeny tiny bathroom downstairs and this is a little unit that I got from Amazon it's just some over the toilet storage there's Lola the little pills um yeah so I wanted another way to put plants in here and the whole thing is tiled so it's difficult to put shelving up um yeah so I just got this from Amazon and it was fairly inexpensive, I can't remember exactly but I'll put the link in the description. And it's just housing a couple of my Bolivian Jews. These last three are just some ideas that I found on Pinterest uh, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. They probably won't work in my house so that's why I haven't done any of these but I thought some of these clothes rack ideas look so nice with plants hanging off of them and I think it's quite a cheap way of displaying your plants. And then this is just a pole across the top of two kitchen cabinets. Looks like they've secured it with some crockery, but I thought that was a great idea as well to hang some plants. And then lastly, I spotted these hammer in nail in curtain rod holders on Amazon and I thought they were such a great idea if you've got a a window that has a frame on the outside I don't um, but I thought that maybe you know you'd be able to get your deposit back because I'm not really sure who's going to check at the top of a window for holes that have been hammered in so I thought these were a really great idea if you guys have got any ideas then I would really love to see them um, you can tag me on Instagram at Sarah Bird Music or leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'd really like some more ideas because it gets the plants up and out of the way and that means more room for more plants. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video then please click the thumbs up uh, and click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll get to see my future videos. I'll be doing some more DIYs and hauls and other bits and bobs. If you like the music in this video, then you can head over to Spotify or wherever you get your music and type in Sarah Bird and you should find me. Thanks so much for watching.